がですね、えー、とちょっと今オフィスからですねちょっと,、えー、と隣の建物になるんですけど僕はもう大変シークレットルームという聞いておるんですけどすごい周りも緊張感が走っております<笑>もうこれこそ本当にね本邦初公開の場所なんですけどまあ場所的にはですね一応プロトタイプ、まあ、選手モデルとかを、えー、と作る、えー、と場所にあるんですけどもちろんそのねえー、と大量生産っていうんですか中国工場に持っていくラケットの原点の場所というのもここからスタートする場所でもあるので非常に貴重な場所に今入り込んでおりますんでねちょっといろいろお聞きしたいと思います OK? 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 Probably some glass fiber material, different qualities of material, sometimes thicker, sometimes thinner, aramide fiber material, and some secrets we're not talking about. This is the so called pre prep. Uh, this is a carbon fiber material with a resin on top. Out of the factory, the carbon fiber comes on such bobbins, and out of this carbon fiber, we make the pre prep. In this pre prep material, the carbon fiber is running in this direction. This means if you take the fiber and put it apart this way, it's very easy to break it. But if you want to break it this way, it's a bad idea. It's stronger than steel. Now we make prototype brackets. Therefore, we cut big pieces, small pieces, pieces with different angles, and combine them all together. A modern tennis racket may consist out of 50 pieces easily. And all this is done by hand cutting and laying them on the table and afterwards rolling. Okay. Now Silvio is showing us how to assemble a racket. You need to put together a lot of pieces. For example, he is now putting a small piece which is a binding part for the yoke adhesion. Now in a second you will see the yoke, the bridge of the tennis racket. He's putting it inside, aligning all these pieces closing a tool. A tennis racket needs a lot of love. You have to do a lot of massage uh, to bring all the pieces perfectly together. Now comes the main tube. This is the most important part of the tennis racket. He makes sure that he finds the right position. Now he puts the main tube together with the yoke and the hard pieces. Now there's a piece in the grip. We call this the shaft area. There are the two main tubes are coming together in the grip area. Now a special piece for impact protection, 12 o'clock. Now he's cutting the tubes to the correct length. In a second you will see that he is mounting the air nozzle. This is the adapter where we inject the air pressure into the tennis racket. Then there is a steel or lead piece. This makes the racket more headlight. This is the whole pre-shaping of a tennis racket. Now Silvia is putting the pre-shaped racket into the mold. Putting it inside, making sure that the air adapter is on the same and the right position. The yoke must be treated with special care. And now the mold is ready to be closed. And the air adapter was moving in. And now the racket is molding. In a few seconds you will hear and the racket is uh, ready to be removed from the mold. Silvio will now take the racket and bring the racket out of the mold. The tennis racket is made out of carbon, but how good is the carbon? Sometimes we are cutting tennis racket and we are having a detailed look at all the carbon fibers which are inside. Here is a tennis racket specimen. We have cut the tennis racket and polished the surface. Now with our light microscope, we can have a very detailed look at any layers of the carbon construction. We can zoom in.
and analyze the very fine details of a tennis racket. Here, for example, we have black carbon layers, a glass fiber layers and carbon layers again. Here in this setup, we want to check the vibrations of a tennis racket. With a tennis racket, we are using a shaker, which is introducing some vibration into the, the frame. And then you can take your finger and just feel the vibration. Because I cannot uh, rent you my finger, I have a metal piece here, uh, which I want to put on the racket. If there is a silent position with hardly any vibration, the metal piece is silent. And if I go here, it's jumping and jumping, because the frame is always hitting the metal piece. We call this a note, there is almost no vibration. The very same is here at the handle position. No vibration, and if I go to the butt cap, again it's vibrating. We can show you this vibration also uh, visually with a stroboscopic light. The stroboscopic light is just flashing uh, 150 flashes in a second. And if you then point it here, you can see the vibration of the tennis racket. Here we are listening to the sound of a tennis racket. A tennis racket is vibrating and how it's vibrating is very important for the performance of a tennis racket. Here we have a setup where we have a sensor mounted uh, and a laser vibrometer is pointing at the spot of the tennis racket. Now we have a hammer and we are hitting on the tennis racket on different locations and with our program we can find out how the racket is vibrating, what is the music of the tennis racket. You can listen to a tennis racket if you hold it approximately in this direction and hit here, then you will hear a sound of the tennis racket, which tells you much about the stiffness and the performance of the tennis.